My favorite planet to talk about is a planet called Uranus. People call it different names, but astronomers like to call it Uranus because otherwise everybody giggles. Now, there's something quite uh, peculiar about the way that Uranus rotates, and, and, and what is that, Reminder? It's pretty much on its side. So it's sort of been, uh, the, the Earth, of course, does... The Earth is a bit tilted, it's about 23 and a half degrees. Right. Uranus is almost perpendicular. Almost perpendicular. To the normal plane. Now, um, do we know why this happened? So there's theories on this. Now, the main theory for this, uh, Uranus at one point might have been rotating uh, normal like all the other planets. And then something very large came and smacked into it right. and turned it to its side. Okay. Uh, but you're, you're here to tell me that that might not actually be the case. Uh, that might be it, but it's kind of a bit more specific than okay. that. All so, right. And when we can demonstrate this by having a rotating this, bicycle. This uh, bicycle wheel, which uh, thankfully somebody uh, donated to us. Not really donated, I just I took it from a bike that was parked in front of the Space Center here. So here we are in a slightly different part of our shop here at the H.R. Mill Space Center, and we have, uh, we have our bicycle wheel, we have a bungee cord, and we have Reminder uh, holding it. Now, uh, the Earth, if, if, if I remember correctly, uh, rotates this way, right? Mm -hmm. Right? On its, on its axis and it has a slight tilt, gives us our seasons, yep. the whole thing. And it naturally wants to go uh, this, this direction, right? Like, yep. I mean, this, this is the way that it wants to go. Um, all right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna spin this up a little bit and uh, we're gonna see if it, 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 uh, it changes. So we've got this thing spinning pretty quick and it is really, it's really tough to, to turn. Like when it's like in this position, it does not want to go uh, flat, right? Mm -hmm. Now what happens if you actually try to hang this thing up? Does it actually stays like that? Whereas we saw before, uh, it, was, it, was the, it was the flat. So the idea is that something that's already spinning like this is very difficult to turn. To turn. It's Newton's first law. Okay. An object in motion will remain at motion. It likes to stay in the same direction it was spinning in. If Uranus really was uh, spinning, and uh, it would have to be hit by something incredibly massive to be able to change, yeah, the, the, chance change of, the rotation. Chances of something spinning, and because it's really hard to turn it to its side, uh, chances of something that something so large hit Uranus and turn it to a side, it's probably not that likely. Uh, if you look, uh, other more evidence for this is if you look at the moons of Uranus, they're actually orbiting in the same plane as Uranus rotates. Right. So it's most likely Uranus formed uh, sideways, and then the planets and so the moons of Uranus formed in that plane as well. Excellent. All right. So there you go. Uh, a little bit of information about one of our planets that does do things a little bit differently on their own. Uh, and uh, hopefully give you an idea about how that possibly did happen. Uh, some theories out there. And again, this shows a nice uh, nice demonstration. From the uh, H.R. McMillan Space Center, I'm Cam Cronin for The Express. I'm Raminder Samra. And now you know a little bit more about Uranus.